problem uh, 54, page 146. Here we have three blocks are in contact with each other. Okay, here uh, these blocks are in contact, not connected by a, any cord, in, con in contact between them. On a frictionless plane, we don't have mu. We don't have any contact between these objects and the plane. Only the, the contact is between them. Uh, a horizontal force applied on M1, on the smallest object, which is equal to, here we have uh, M1 equals to uh, two, M2 equals to three, and M4 equals to uh, M3, for, excuse me, M3 equal to four. F applied on the object, F equals to 18. Okay, draw a separate free body diagram for each object and find. So first of all, you have to draw all the forces applied uh, on each object, okay? Second, we have to calculate the acceleration of the blocks, A. Three, we have to calculate the, the resultant force on each block. We have to find the F total applied on each block. C, we have to find the magnitude of the contact forces between the blocks. You know, uh, if you push M1, M1 will push M2, and M2 will do a reaction on M1. M2 will push M3, and M3 will do a reaction on M2. We have action and reaction. D, okay, let's uh, begin with Part one, we have to draw the forces applied on each object. Here, uh, we have F applied on M1. What we have on M1? Uh, M1, we have the weight and we have the reaction from the table on M1. So here we have M1 G and we have N1. Two, we don't have interaction with the plane. M1 will push M2 with F12, okay? This F12 will be on M2. Let's uh, draw with the blue color. M1 will push M2, like this. This one is F12. It's not on M1. You know the third law of Newton the action will create reaction. So M2 will do a reaction on M1 with F21. And the action and the reaction, they have the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction. So uh, we get F21 in the opposite direction. Here we have F12 and F21 exerted on the mass M1. So on M1, we have F, we have N1, we have M1G, and we have F21. I think it's all about M1. Let's take uh, 
uh, before, we know F two one as magnitude equal F one two. Okay. Now I will talk about M two. M two with the blue color. What we have? We have the weight M two G. The uh, reaction from the table on M two. So here we have M two G and N two. Okay. Uh, M two will push M three with F two three. So we get by a green color, M2 will push this object with F2, 3. This F is applied on M3, not on M2. And by, and also the same uh, principle, the third, uh, Newton's third law, M2 will have action on M3 and M3 will do a reaction on M2. So M2, uh, we get a force as reaction from M3 on M2. Here we have F3, 2, the, the object M3 on the object M2. I think it's all about M2. We have F1, 2, exerted on M2, we have F32 exerted on M2, we have M2G and we have N2. Now I talk about M3, what we have here uh, with the green color, we have the weight M3 and the reaction. Look here, if you have an interaction or friction with the plane, you have to add uh, F kinetic on each object. You will get a motion to the right. So F kinetic one will be to the left, F kinetic two will be to the left, and the same for M kinetic three will be to the left. Here we have a smooth, uh, uh, plane, so uh, we don't have any interaction between uh, the, uh, the objects and the plane. I think it's all about the uh, part A, B. B, I want to calculate the acceleration of one, two, and three. You know that these objects are in contact so if you push M1, you will get the same acceleration for one, two, and three. A1 equals to A2 equals to A3 equals to A. We said before, in order to calculate the acceleration of a system of one of two objects or three objects, uh, this system moves in one dimension, as in this case, you can take these two, uh, these objects as one system, in this case. Uh, here, it's better to, say, to take this um, system because you can eliminate all the internal forces uh, exist between the objects. So, if we take here only one system, we have only one object of one system with uh, a weight capital MG. Here we have MG and M equals to M1 plus M2 plus M3. 
three, okay? And we have the reaction and total must be up. And we have to eliminate all the internal forces. So we can eliminate uh, between M1 and M2, F1, 2, and F2, 1, F3, 2, and F2, 3. These are internal. What we have external, we have F, okay? And we have M1 and M2, N1, N2, N3. These are external between the object and the external, okay? But the internal must be between. So we, uh, we have F applied on the system. Uh, like this. As you have, okay, now I think it's all. Let's apply Newton's law. What we have, uh, F to the right and total up. Mg down equals to Ma. Uh, in function of I, we have F to the right. You know the line of motion must be, the motion must be to the right. So this is the positive direction. Uh, F to the right, we have only F, okay? So Fi uh, N is up, Mg is down, equals to M. We have only A equal Ax. We don't have Ay. So we have Ax in the positive direction plus Ayj. Okay, I need to calculate A. Uh, okay, we said we don't have Y. We can say zero J. A equals two, we can take I with I and N uh, J with J. So uh, here F equals to M A and this one and this one N minus M G equals to zero. So N equals to M G. Anyway, I want to calculate A. So A equals to uh, F divided by M. We have F equals to 18 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3, we have nine, nine kilogram. Divided by nine, we get two M per second squared. Okay, we write the given here we have A equals to 2M per second squared. This is A. Okay. Now I can uh, uh, erase. B or uh, 
B, we have to calculate the resultant force on each block, okay? Uh, the total F applied on each block. Okay. So uh, we have to take each object. Uh, let's take, first of all, M1. On M1, uh, we have this M1. We have F to the right. We have uh, F, F to one. We have F to one. F, F to one and uh, N one. M1 G. Okay. Uh, now, uh, you know, we have to calculate the total F applied on each object. We begin with the first one. Uh, the total F applied on one, what we have uh, equals M1A. We can say like this, it's enough, okay? And you know, here we have uh, the, we calculated the X component and Y components. Uh, on X component, we have F minus, F to one I plus uh, N one minus M one J. Now, just I want to calculate this value, which is equal to the total F applied, the total F. We can say here, we can calculate each value here or we can directly put M1 equals to two. Uh, you know that uh, here we can write M1 AI, okay? So here we have M1 two times A equals to two I. We get finally equal four I. So the total force applied on the object M1 equals to four I, we don't have J. It means this one is F one X plus F one Y. This one is F one X and F one Y. Okay. Uh, okay, now this is a value of F1. We can write its magnitude. We can say here the magnitude of uh, F1 equals to F1 equal uh, four square plus zero equal to four. This is a, this is a total F applied on M1, okay? Uh, okay, we can now directly, before talking about M2, we can use this equation to calculate F21 uh, here, okay? You know, uh, F1x equal to four, this one equal to four, so F, minus F to one equal to four. So F to one equals to F, which is equal uh, 18 minus four 
we get 14 Newton. Okay, so F to one, you know that from here, F to one equal F one two, F to one equals to F uh, one two equals to 14 Newton. I think it's clear now, okay? Okay, I want to add a given here, uh, F12 equals to F21 equals to 14 Newton. And the value total applied on one equals to four Newton as magnitude. Okay. Now I want to take all the forces applied on M2. I clean a little. About uh, M2, I want to calculate all the forces applied on M2, which is equal to M2A equals to what we, ha what we have on the uh, on the x axis we have f uh, on m2 we have f12 and f32 f12 is to the right positive and f32 is to the left so we can write f12 minus f32 we have only this, okay, in function of i. Plus, on the j, we have n2 minus m2j equals to m. Okay, it's all. Now, I want to calculate the total f. Uh, Okay, let me draw here M2. You know here uh, we have F32. Here we have F12. Here we have Mg and we have N. These are the forces exerted on M2. Okay, uh, we can find F2 directly equals to M2 three times a in the positive direction we can say two i so we have six i we don't have a motion the total f must be in the i direction we don't have j this one is f two x and this one is F to Y. Here we have F to X. And here we have F to Y. You know, F to Y here equals to zero. Yes, because N2 equal M to G. N2 equals M to G. So you will get... Uh, F to Y equal to zero, okay? It's logic. Now, uh, we can uh, calculate now directly F32. You know, F12 minus F32 equal F2X. F2X equals to six. So we can write F12 minus F32 equals to six. So F three two equals to F one two minus six. We calculated F one two here and F two one equal 14 minus six. We get eight Newton. So uh, F two, uh, uh, F32, you know that as magnitude, F32 equals 
to f uh, to three equals to eight Newton. We can add the value in the given case. Here we can write f three two equal f two three equal eight Newton. Now we can calculate the magnitude of F2. You know, F2 as magnitude equal the X component and the Y component. We have just X component, six square, we get the value of six Newton. So F2 equals to six Newton, okay? Now it's all about uh, F2 we can calculate uh, the total value on M3. We, we can follow the same procedure. Uh, on M3, we have the total F applied F3 equals, what we have here, we have the object, uh, the weight, the reaction, and we have here only F2, three applied on it. So this N, this one is MG, and here we have F two three. So uh, in general, F three equal M three times A I in the positive direction. Okay. We don't have J equals to uh, what we have. We have F two three and I direction plus N minus M three G. Okay. Uh, so F three equals to M three equal to four times A I, we get uh, eight I and we don't have J component. So here we have uh, F three X plus F three Y. And the same to compare, this one is F three X and this one is F three Y. We can calculate, or we don't need. That's enough because because we calculated F uh, two three. Mm. It's here. F two three equal to eight. Okay. Now just I need to calculate the magnitude of F three, which is equal to eight square plus zero. We get eight Newton. So here we have F total applied on M3 equal to eight Newton. Okay, this is the answer uh, here. We calculated uh, in general. Here we calculated uh, the total F applied on M1, F1 equal four Newton. We calculate the total force applied on M2, F2 equal to six, and the total force applied on uh, M3 equal eight Newton. You have to remember, when I ask you to calculate the total F, you have to calculate the magnitude of each F. You have to follow the same procedure. Now, uh, next, uh, part C, what we have to calculate, I need to find 
the magnitude of the contact forces between the blocks. We calculated already this, this value. So we have to calculate the force applied between uh, the objects. I mean, we have to calculate F12 and F21, F23 and F32, and uh, uh, it's all. We have these values, it's here. F32, F23 equal to eight. So part D, D, or part C, excuse me, part C, we calculated F32 equal F23 equal to eight Newton and F21 uh, equals to F12 equals to 14 Newton. This is part C. Just I want to calculate the uh, uh, contact forces between the blocks. Now I want to solve part D. Okay, we can clean. Part D, uh, you are working on a construction project. Okay, I will not uh, solve this part. Uh, just uh, uh, we have part A, B, C, okay? Thank you.